hello youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i am making a pair of ankle flare pants and customizing a vest that i had so first i will be showing you how to make the pants but all you're gonna need for this project is about one and a half yards of fabric and some scissors Next, I'm going to be showing you my serger. I will be using the Singer Stylus Serger today, and I'll be using it for the whole project. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So first, I will just be starting off by folding the fabric. This fabric is actually folded into four, so I fold it in half and then folded it again so I can make four pieces of fabric for both legs. Now I'm just going in with a pair of pants that I had that fit me really well and just using that as a pattern and I'm just going around it keeping about an inch of seam allowance and then I'm cutting it a little bit shorter because those pants are longer than the pants I'm making and then also I will be adding the flare at the end of the pants so yeah I'm just going around and cutting that this is what you should have I have four pieces here a front and a back for one leg and then another front and a back for another leg and all I'm gonna do is go in and pin so this is how it should look when it's all done being pinned and all I'm gonna do is go along all those sides with the sergers that have pins on them And this next clip you will be seeing is just a sewing ASMR, so enjoy! After being all sewn all I'm doing here is going to be turning one of the legs right side out and all I'm gonna do is put the one that's right side out instead of the one that's inside out so the piece on the right side right here will be on the outside and I'll be taking the piece that's on the left side and putting it inside of there and then I will go ahead and pin that U part of the pants together. I'm just 
taking my pins and pinning that U part of the pants together and after that I will be bringing it back to the serger. All this is doing is creating the crotch part of the pants so that I can sew it together. Sew both legs together. after sewing the pants and now I'm just pulling the leg through and pull, making it inside out and just cutting off those excess thread that's on there and that's it now I will be moving on to the ankle flare part so here I just have two small squares and all I will be doing it is folding it two times into another small square and then I will go in and on the edges that are not folded I will be making a curve around the end and then at the point that has all four creases together I will be making a mini curve for my ankle to fit in and then the ends are just the flare part so here's how they should look and now I will be showing you how to connect it onto the pants all you do is pin the bottom of the pants to the top of the ankle it will create some ruching so that it just gives it a little bit more of a flared look and this is how they should look after sewing it onto the pants. Pretty cute, but that's all for the pants. Now here's all the finished seams of the pants and this is the vest that I will be customizing. It's from Ross. It was about $10, $15. And I will be using yarn to add the detailing to the back of the vest. So as you can see here, I will just be using the yarn and puncturing holes on the back where the darts are to just make a loop in order for me to lace fabric onto the um, back of the vest to give it like a corset detailing. you're done making it I will be making three along each start in the back and then this is how it looked all I did was make a piece of lace out of the fabric that I used for the pants and then laced it down the back to give it that corset detailing and to be honest that was just it 
this is the final product and the look of the item and the next clip you will be seeing is how it looks on the body so here's the final look guys i hope you guys were able to follow along but yeah i hope you guys liked the video i will be posting more soon i have a couple of videos coming up next and also don't forget to comment down below what you guys would also like to see me do as well and the next clip i will be showing you is just a tiktok don't forget to follow me on my social medias so if you haven't already like this video subscribe to my channel to see more content and turn on those post notifications so you know when i upload another video thank you guys see you in the next one